2 billion shillings on relief food for counties hit by drought. Government spokesperson Cyrus Oguna says the government is seeking another 1.2 billion shillings to help sustain families affected by drought in the month of November. This even as schools in Turkana County registered a low turnout for the second term. It is the second day since Lorengo Primary School in Kakuma, Turkana County, opened its doors to learners for the second term. Unlike in many schools in urban centers, the turnout in this school that also hosts refugee learners is low with only 55 out of the 365 learners reporting to school. According to the school head teacher, the burden of hunger has forced many learners to opt to stay at home in search of something to put in their mouth, including wild fruits. And we see the reason behind is that uh, most of them come from families that hardly get food. So back at home there's no food and in school I don't have any food right now. So it becomes hard for them to come. So what they're doing, mostly I know some of them are in the bushes, taking the wild berries. Uh, because I've tried to find them out at, school, at their families, they were not there in the morning. However, the situation is different for the lower grade learners who have flocked the school as they are assured of a meal, courtesy of a school feeding program that targets ECD learners. Ni mekwa retuin kwa hii kwa hii shule wakati wa kufungua. Watoto wawezi respond kama pekine chakula hakuna. Kwa sababu most of them who access chakula kwa maybe kwa boma ni ngumu. But once wakisikia chakula imeletwa kwa shule, unapata wengi wengi wao wanaingia. Learners here are constantly on the move alongside their families in search of food and firewood for sale, a situation that has seen many miss the opportunity to get an education. This school has been targeted for three sub-projects and uh, it has benefited with uh, a kitchen and store. And uh, behind me, you can see there's uh, a class that under construction, but almost complete. So I would, uh, uh, would um, confidently say that women have benefited and uh, in our assessments they have uh, indicated that or given a feedback that uh, their children are benefiting and they are able to support uh, their needs in terms of uh, school fees or that. The sad tale of Turkana mirrors the situation across drought hit counties with the government promising scaled up efforts to mitigate the impact of the drought. Government spokesperson Cyrus Oguna says already 1.2 billion shillings has been set aside for the month of October and similar amount is being mobilized for next month. The government is in the meantime calling on organizations and people of goodwill to chip in and aid in the efforts to provide relief assistance. Distribution of physical food is currently ongoing and for which this food that is being distributed is for the month of October only and it has cost the government uh, 1.2 billion to procure and it's for the month of October. Now for the month of November again another 1.2 billion has been set aside to be able to procure food uh, to be distributed and therefore this distribution wants to assure Kenyans that they should not panic because as government we're fully in control of the situation. With Turkana being among the counties most affected by the ongoing drought, the availability of food in schools has been a motivating factor with more and more learners enrolling to school in these rural areas. Nancy Okwari, Prime Edition from Kakuma, Turkana County.